<laughs> Let's make sure we'll get everything. Let's get it. Holy shit, everybody. Is that working? Oh, oh shit. Wash your hands, wash your ass. Dude. It's coronavirus season. Filthy motherfuckers. One. All right. What do you mean, wash your hands? Against yeah. all odds. You guys wash your hands? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wash my hands all the fucking time. Dirtball motherfuckers. Constantly. Hey, is that dirty kid in Charlie Brown? Yeah, it's a pig pen. Pig pen. Bunch of pig pen motherfuckers out there. Dusty as fuck. Oh, shit, well. I always think that Dave Chappelle joke. Uh, dusty white people with their coal smeared faces. <laughs> lighting up hey, the door. it off, man. That was our <laughs> intro beat. What's going on here? I'm the door guy. It's the door guy show. You know what the fuck this is. We're back with the bartender. Welcome back. The AKA the acidic Jew. The DMT Jew. About uh, <laughs> about 12% acidity. <laughs> <laughs> it's up there. Just above lemon juice. <laughs> man, we are finally back uh, recording uh, an episode. It's been a while. It's been about two two months, I guess. Yeah. We had that weird one we didn't, we didn't put out. Yeah. It was all right. Yep. I just don't do well in the daylight, man. I'm like sober, it's bright. You're a vampire. <laughs> I'm a vampire. This is true. I just, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm the same way, man. I, I, I don't feel like a person till the sun goes down. Yeah, that's, that's when, when I, start, I feel like I a start fucking human. Firing on all cylinders, man. Like, so I, I wake I, up at like six o'clock a lot of mornings, like seven o'clock a.m. Because yeah, kids go to school, right. and then uh, I'm just kind of like a fucking weird zombie, suspended animation guy until about. Nine o'clock at night. Yep. And then this fucking bow, demon boom, comes out. Kick it indoors. <laughs> <laughs> Last call in bars. Wow. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, two AM. I'm I'm all set, man. I'm ready to, to start. Who said it has to end now? Right? Fuck you, California. Four AM oh, last man. call. That's what we need. Yeah, the after hours continue. All those illegal after hours. You got the ABC sweating us. I'm like, bro, go to the after hours, you fucking mall cop. I love the bars where, like, if you get there before last call, they'll shut the doors. And the kind of the rule is, right, like, you can stay. If you leave, you're gone. Yeah. You can't come back. Sure. That's like the real test of wills. You know what I mean? <laughs> where I'm at, motherfuckers, we got to strong arm them into leaving. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I know, like uh, I know, I know several bars. As long as you're there before last call, you can hang and you can kick it for, I don't know, until like five a.m. Yeah, if you I've really want to stay yeah, that long. Yeah, if you, yeah, I've been to some of those. Shit, I fallen asleep at bars and woken up at noon the next day. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that party. Bartenders still there wiping shit down. Like, oh shit, man, you're still here. Because they live there too. <laughs> <laughs> feeling Let's order a pizza get your day started absolutely <laughs> so here we go man uh, i guess the first round of business is my uh eminent uh <laughs> semi-retirement sending shockwaves through the community yeah so what's going on with that my guy? i'm gonna uh i'm moving to la and i'm gonna pitch a uh, sitcom yeah yeah what's it gonna be called uh, that, that we, we're, we're working on that it's gonna okay. be about a retired bouncer that's broken homeless <laughs> who <laughs> sleeps on his friend's couch <laughs> my two friends it's a same-sex couple they allow me to move in it's gonna be uh it's gonna be michael j fox and scott bayo as oh. the couple okay and uh they have uh, adopted some uh, millennial snowflake children and they um, it's gonna be kind of like charles in charge i'm gonna be there but i'm gonna be the drunk bastard on the couch <laughs> i like i it. wake up just in time for happy hour <laughs> and then i i, I, I skirt off to happy hour make some memes <laughs> and then i come back and help uh like toughen their kids up a little get the kids ready for the real world you through go. Witty, uh, like witty. charlie sheen and two and a half men it's, a, it's got a little bit of everything it's got yeah. a little bit of like different strokes you know is Charlie Sheen still around? Is he dead yet? He's not dead yet. He looks pretty dead. He does, man. He looks. We like, should do yeah. like a celebrity death pool for I 2020. Think it's been done, man. It? Yeah, I feel like Charlie it. Sheen's on my list, and so is uh, Lil Wayne. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> I, I, last time, uh, I, I, I you can't I, go with the obvious you know like what? fucking I, Betty White, yeah. Bernie Sanders. Betty like, White's what? gonna live forever. No, that bitch is here um, for, to stay. Um, to stay. I listened to. Um, Charlie Sheen on Dirt Nasty's podcast, uh, Nervous Rex, mm. and he's actually like sober and doing really well. <laughs> he's like HIV positive too. 
So apparently they 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 somehow got cleaned it out. Maybe all the cocaine killed off. That's HIV. what money does, man. Supposedly, yeah, money will get money. the HIV out Maybe of your system. Maybe they just like were able to cycle enough blood through them. Like ask Magic it. Johnson, bitch. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if he even has it. I don't know. Something about all that money. So yes, I will be taking a break, man. A much a much uh, deserved. I'm ready. So for, uh, what are you going to be doing? I don't. I can't, Aside from I, the, the the show you're working on, yeah, I, yeah. Besides my sitcom, uh, I can't really talk about it right now. Okay. Yeah, but uh, it's another great opportunity, so I'm gonna. But you can still. Eventually, I'll probably after a few months, I'll miss it and, yeah. and come back. Probably won't be able to run a spot, you know, a, a full time. But you can like work a few nights here and there. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. I I'm always... in a similar boat. I'm I'm contemplating a uh, not an exit, but a reduction. Right. Right. I don't think I ever want to leave this yeah. lifestyle. I love what I do. I yeah, love bartending. I, I do. I do too. But I, uh, when I started college, like fucking hundred years, <laughs> twenty ago. years ago, <laughs> I, uh, I started in like education. Right. I wanted to be like a high school teacher because I was young and optimistic. Yeah, fucking insane, bro. Ended up uh, switched over to like sociology. Got my masters, but I bartended all the way through like undergrad and grad school. And I was like, fuck it, I like this so much more. Than uh, grading papers and sitting in an office, right? You know, underpaid, right? <laughs> and I was like, ah, I could do that and this. I could, you know, like do some, give back, spread some wisdom on some of these young kids, tell them the fucking truth. You know what I mean? Teaching like high school history, like, yo, it's the seventies. Check what's going on. Like fucking the CIA's introducing crack into black neighborhoods to break up the Black Panthers. This is right? true. This, this is true. This is a fact. Fact. Using drug money to Pretty fund the Iran Contra. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact that it's out there. This episode, Just we saying. go deep. <laughs> Just saying. But really, it's all about those like alien overlords and right. like the uh, lizard people, the satanic sex cults. Yeah, you know. That's, a that's never, another show altogether. That's a never any rabbit hole. I'll leave that to Sam Tripoli on Tinfoil Hat. If you guys like that shit, listen <laughs> to Tinfoil Hat. Eat some cocaine and a bottle of Jack and get down to Man, business. They go down a rabbit hole. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's with a heavy heart because I do also love this. No, but you're not gone forever. Yeah. And hopefully break. I get a chance to kind of travel and maybe link up with some of the people on my Instagram. I'd love to. Uh, yeah. Let, of- let, let's be honest, too, man. This, this, this industry used to be something that you could support yourself full yeah. time on. Yeah. It's really getting tough out there. It's, it's been really hard. A lot of stress, too. I think. Uh, How many people you know working two gigs? Right. Everybody. You gotta. Everybody. You gotta work two jobs. Yeah. And the stress of being a lead, like it's one thing to be a bouncer and it's another thing to like be in charge. Right. And the stress level where I'm at is like off the charts. Well, think about it. You could go do what you like to do and then you can go the fuck home. Yes. You can go the fuck home. Yes. No text messages, no emails, no phone calls, no, no fucking reports, bullshit. No bloodbath, potential yeah. bloodbath. If you get fired, fuck it. Who cares? There's another spot down the street. Yeah, right. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look forward to recharging my batteries. I'd love to take a train up to like Seattle and You know what it is? I'm really tired of like looking for a career spot. You know? Cause those spots are so hard to come by nowadays. Yeah. Looking for that like home where like you sp- see yourself spending the rest of your career in That's this tough. industry. Places come We're and We're all go. looking for it. Places come and go. These it's days. hard to find, man. Yeah. I mean this even this weekend, uh, with the uh, coronavirus. It's had a real impact. Everybody's everybody's slim right now. Let's get real for a minute, though. Look, if you're in this industry, we don't get to take a lot of time off. Yes. Right? We are always working. We work when it's busy, work when it's popular, which is all the cool times to go do shit somewhere else. Right. So right now, tickets are low. Get the fuck out of town. (laughs) I'm taking the fam out to... So uh, Oahu. Yeah. In like five weeks, I got round trip tickets, 200 bucks. That's awesome. Treat yourself right now. I don't now. fly, man. It's too dangerous. So fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hop on an Amtrak. Like I said, I'd love you. I want to sure go link Amtrak's up. Hacking, hacking prices too. I want to go link up with all the all the other uh, security guys on my Instagram, guys and gals. You know, I'd love to do yeah. a West Coast, uh, like Seattle, Portland trip, maybe. You know, I was, I was talking to my mom about this little Hawaii trip, right? Yeah. She was like, what if you... She's old fucking Jewish lady. So okay. she's just nervous constantly. <laughs> Are Jewish people <laughs> nervous? Is that like, really? Is that never, she's, is that <laughs> Robert, what if you get... What if you get quarantined over there in the Hawaii's? Perfect. It's like, then, bitch, I live <laughs> yeah. in Hawaii now. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's going on. I'll stay in my hotel room for another two weeks. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go sleep on the beach for a minute. I'll go find me a job bartending at some tiki hut. I'm down. 
It's cool. My wifey works. I mean, she's a. She's in the industry too. She's basically. in the industry. She's in the industry. She's in a much more profitable side of the industry. Right. Yeah, my buddy runs a whole bunch of security out there. He said he'd work for me. Maybe I'll. I'll um, Come on out, man. Yeah. Be quarantined. Well, you got to do me like B.A. Baracus. You got to like knock me out and then put <laughs> me on the plane. <laughs> when I wake up, it's too late. <laughs> just do a giant blast of ketamine uh, right before you just get stuck in a K-hole uh, for fucking, five hours. I fucking hate flying, dude. Every really? Time I, oh, I hate it. And every time I do, love it. shit goes wrong. I love flying. Try to land with no brakes. I got that like, shit down to an art. Oh, God. From my front door uh, to the Vegas Strip. In under, an, in, under, in under two hours. Even think about it gives me anxiety right now. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love now, it. Just get train, super high. The train on the other hand, I, 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 I gel with the train, man. The train ride, my last train ride was awesome. I can't wait to. Uh, so, man, the trains are too long. I need to get there right the no. fuck now. <laughs> it's all about the journey, man. It's all about the journey. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the journey and the people you meet along the way, man. So, so if you could go anywhere right now. Where would you go? Uh, if I go anywhere right now, uh, I guess I'd do a quick trip to Seattle. Yeah, yeah, I got some friends up there. I hear it's bad up there right now. Oh, I guess people are dying. I don't. I'm just not scared of the flu, man. You know, if I'm thinking like continental U.S., yeah. New Orleans. Oh, New Orleans. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? Good time. Go see our homeboy at uh, Jake and Snake's fucking oh, Christmas yeah. Club. <laughs> Going all the way back to the fr- yeah. yeah. Oh, that guy was cool, man. <laughs> I've been thinking about that guy. The train takes you right there. It drops we got you off. snow one time back in the nineties. It was yeah, crazy. That was the craziest story <laughs> ever. That was a. Oh man, we gotta start doing this more. That was a fun. That was Sometimes, a fun. ladies come in here dressed like Santa Claus with their titties out. Man. Okay, I'm gonna start planning this. If you're show down out. in Nola, go check out Jake and Jake Snake and, and Jake's Snake Jake and Jake. Jake. I gotta listen Snake to the first. Snake and Jake's Christmas Club Lounge. I whatever the fuck. The first episode. Again. Google that Just, shit. Yeah, that guy was cool. I didn't even think about calling random bars. Maybe we'll make some calls later. So. We got time. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Because it's so slow right now, our restaurant yeah. let me go early. <laughs> <laughs> Gave us use of the lovely PDR once again. I'd love to call out them by name, but we're going to keep oh, it. Oh, did you notice some changes in here? Uh, what, the TV? Yeah. Yeah. Gotta have you. Gotta take down your precious artwork and put up a fucking TV screen. I feel like uh, that'd be a great thing for like a Skype call if we did a live show. Dude, that'd yeah, be a big awesome. old screen, like getting people on a. We had a. There was a group of. Uh, if you're from Holland, you're Dutch. Is that right? Or if you're Dutch, you're from Holland. Yeah, is that right? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah. had all these fucking Dutch people in here. The Holland. They uh, flew in for this Dutch festival in San Francisco. <laughs> they came up short. <laughs> they had a uh, like twenty thousand tulips they were gonna hand out at this Dutch party, and uh, it got canceled. So they're just hanging out in our fucking ho- hotel the last couple Everybody's of days. Everybody's freaking out. They canceled the uh, St. Patty's Day parade. No. Yeah. Thank fucking God. Thank God, St. Man. Patrick's Day is fucking dumb, and I'm half Irish. Oh, dude, it's my last my last That's shift. That's right. I'm an be- Irish Jew. That's, Figure man, that out, bitch. <laughs> my last shift's going to be St. Patty's Day, and I'm just praying I don't fucking die. I fucking hate St. Patrick's yeah, Day. Yeah, it's a fucking train wreck. My wife loves St. Patrick's Day. It's like her like second favorite holiday. Why? Because she's not she's not in this industry. Why? Why would you love that shit? <laughs> it was funny in fifth grade when you wore green and pinched girls, but like right. a- after that, like this is bullshit. Like, well, it's like Santa Claus, Santa Con, right? We talked about Santa Con before. Yeah, we've talked. It's it, like fucking New Year's. Yes, it's it's, it's the it Special is. Olympics of drinking. Yeah, this is this little brother. Uh, it's people who who go out a few times a year. And they make terrible decisions because they can't handle their booze. These assholes drive from two hours away into the city. Dude, they get a hotel room for ruin, like 500 bucks. Right. Ruin our city for the weekend. Thank you, Modesto. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Turlock. <laughs> Shout out to Turlock. <laughs> My homie's out in Turlock holding it down. Is he? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anybody in Turlock. <laughs> I think one of our waitresses just uh, went home back to Turlock for a minute. What kind of stuff do we got? Should we do what uh, what drunk girls talk to me about at the front door? Yes. Do you have some uh, you have some audio? Let's see what we got here. Let's yeah, let's hear about it. Drunk girls at the front door. Okay, tough question. Give me a question and I'll answer it. You. Oops. Oh, no. Uh, you know, awesome. this Period sex. <laughs> What's your fucking... <laughs> okay, tough question. Give me a question and I'll answer it. You were just asking the Period time. sex. What's your fucking situation? It happens. What's your thoughts? It happens. Listen, blood no, is a fucking... Like, okay, say she's your fuck buddy. Say she knows. And she invites you over and she's on her period. 
What do you do? What stage of the period is she on? She's Beat on that day shit three. Up. <laughs> Put a black Gosh, towel down. She's on down. day fucking three. <laughs> These things happen sometimes. Right? Listen, day do you three. fuck her? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> If you Russ, do you? If you yeah, answer, it happens. sometimes uh, these things happen. Okay. Say yes or no. Do you fuck her? Yes or no? Yeah, it's a um, yes. yes or no. Multiple choice question. Yes. <laughs> no. I'm about to knee Russ on the goddamn cock. Is it a yes or a goddamn no? Too close. No? You're too close. <laughs> so is it? Is it a yes or a no? It just depends, man. I'm about to knee Russ in the goddamn cock. Is it a yes or? <laughs> Dude, she sounded serious. Yeah, they're they're fun ladies, man. They're some fun girls. I, I, one, of, one of them sounds kind of hot. Yeah, they're cute for yeah. sure. Yeah, they're fun. They're super cool. <laughs> I, I'm, they're, yeah, I, they're, I work with them, so they're they're uh, they're a blast to work with, man. They're they're like 21 or 22. Oh just, God. Yeah, they are so much fun, man. I'm gonna miss those girls. I'm not gonna call them out by name. You know who you are. We have a <laughs> shit ton of fun there on brunches, man. There's a couple servers here that are like, yeah, super just young, mm-hmm. hot. They're just so much fun to be around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the world hasn't jaded them yet. You know, it's, it's funny because, like, they look at things so optimistically. <laughs> They're always having a great time. And I'm just over here in the corner like, uh, yeah, this fucking like, place. Give it 20 years, I'm going to murder everybody in this goddamn room. <laughs> give, it, give it 20 years, Junior. I've turned into that old dude now. <laughs> it's the old shitty guy in the corner. <laughs> hating on everything. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy here, uh, you know, I'm not going to say his name, but a uh, little older than me, black dude, right, raised in, like, Oakland, Black Panther parents, but you were talking about, like, a shitty outlook on life. This dude fucking hates everything, man. Damn. You can't even talk about, like, sports. <laughs> it's like, they want, people like to go to, like, a thing, like, you know, they, they, you know who's going to win, Robert? Who they want to win. That's me. Oh, man. That's me. Everything's a conspiracy. <laughs> Everything's right, Everything. bro. Everything. All right, let's stay on target. Should we do, uh, what, do we, what do we got, industry news? What was the story? Look, hold on, let me see. I got, we can get oh, all. You know, hey, we had that thing about, like, myths, right? Let's get uh, all official here. Hold on. Yeah. I'm going to do. We got myths. Ready? You want to do. Oh, shit. You know, I was looking at some news. Door guy news. Coming to you first. <laughs> yeah. Hi. I'm that guy. <laughs> right? Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the news. Hello. I'm Su Chin Pak. Yeah. Wait, was Sway? Did Sway used to be on TV News? Uh, he might have. You yeah. know, Sway's from uh, Oakland. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, I'm Sway. This is MTV News. Yeah. He, he has like a really weird voice. Yeah. He talks like a fucking robot. Don't we all? Fuck you, Sway. <laughs> I actually like Sway a lot. Yeah, he's cool, man. Oh, wait. Did I show you? I sent you a, uh, a link for a game. Did you get that? Yeah, I did. But, you know, I'm not a gamer. I didn't even click on that shit. There's a, there's a game on Google Play <laughs> called ID, please. Club Simulation. So the, I haven't downloaded it. <laughs> You'll do it now. We'll do, a, we'll do a live shit. playthrough. Uh, uh, we're going to talk about the uh, Spike Lee. Uh, the Spike Lee incident. Oh, yeah. So the background, the owner of uh, the Knicks, Jeff Dolan, is a giant douchebag. Is he? Oh, yeah. Shocking. He, he kicked out some fans for saying, sell the team. He gave <laughs> him like a ban. He definitely would not like me. He ran into some dudes <laughs> at Coachella. They're like, sell the team. And he like banned them. From, from, from Madison Square Garden? From Madison Square Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit, what an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's got a history of being a douche, but... Okay. Recently, what was it? Uh, Spike Lee. Spike Lee, fa- famous filmmaker. Right. Very rich dude. He's been going through the same door for like 30 years. And 28 it's like years, an, he said. But it's also an employee-only escal- uh, elevator. Right. So I'm guessing there was a new guy. Is my guess is that Something, probably right? a new guy and was, or like, it was and, like, and he was like, "Yo, you can't be in here." Yeah, and Spike Lee, and this is just my opinion, obviously. Just listening like, to the Who audio. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, he, he Spike Lee started acting like the owner of the place. Like just because you were doing something doesn't mean you always get to. It. If there's a new guy and he's just doing his fucking job, right? You can't be give nice. that guy grief. Be nice and pull out a hundred dollar bill because you're rich as fuck and be like, "Listen, I do this all the time. It's good." Right. And you drop his I'm boss's Spike name, motherfucking Lee. You drop his boss's name and say, "Hey, he's not going to mind." In the event, he, you might, and he was like, I'm not doing They told me I had to walk out this exit and come back in. Like, you might have to do that, motherfucker. Right. Yeah. You are Spike Lee, but, like, let's be honest, you only had a couple good movies, man, and Where's that was a while too? ago. Is like they were telling him, uh, the, the official statement from the Knicks. Okay. 
which kind of just threw like gas on the fire. Yeah, sure, of course. Was like, yeah, we've told him this for months, and he says that's a lie. Okay. He says no one's told him. My thing is, if you told a guy for months, like, why today do you go, like, so hard-ass on it if he's been doing it the whole time? He goes to, like, every Knicks game. Right, he's a staple of that. Like, by his estimation, he's spent $10 million Doesn't going to Knicks games over the past 30 years. You haven't, you haven't, you haven't tipped me once, homie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? yeah. Like, that's when you grease the wheels, like, man. Bro, like, you gave Jeff Dolan some money. Yeah, you ain't give like me shit. There's probably give some new guy just, Bob yeah, any money. Man, he, that dude's worried about his job. Employees only. Yeah. Okay. Well, but then too, it, like the in the video, it sounded, it sounded like Spike Lee was kind of bitching out, like yelling at him and like pulling that. Don't you know who I am? And like, well, yeah. Like, I guess there's like a VIP entrance they wanted him to use, right? That's that. And makes I guess sense. like that door was only for like employees yeah. and media people. Yeah, employees only, basically. But I mean, like he's kind of a media person, ish. I mean, he is sitting courtside, not in the media seat. You still don't own nothing, man. Because that's like a it. separate space you're just altogether. A, you're, just media a, seats. You're, you're just a patron. Yeah. And that dude's doing his job, man. That's when you got to back up and be like, dude's right. doing his job. That's just my take on it. Like, you know, Counterpoint. I, you know, Counterpoint. So like, let's say you're like at a at a Lakers game yeah. and Jack Nicholas yeah. is doing that. I'd shit on him just to, just to troll him. Right. Yeah, just to see, get to set him <laughs> off. <laughs> just watch Jack Nicholas go crazy. Bait, bait him into punching me so I could retire. <laughs> no. no. I, and look, I, I'm, I'm sympathetic to all of that. Like, I probably would have worked with Spike Lee. But, like, I've been right. around a while. I'd be like, okay, this is Spike Lee. He's not some buster-ass dude just trying to, like, hustle me to get into, like, a VIP area. Right. It's like, okay, everybody knows Spike Lee's in every goddamn game. You know, right. maybe that guy. He's kind of like the dude, official maybe, dude. And, like. Of you the know, Knicks. Like, the industry's so fucked up, that new guy might not really know that. Like, he might be like, hey, my boss said employees only, and that's what I'm going with. Right. And, like, my boss always said, if you but do like exactly... Somebody, do somebody exactly, else there would have spoke up and been like, bro, like, like, where's the main don't boss? hassle Spike Lee. First of all, Spike Lee should know the main boss by now. Like, hey, listen, can, right. you, can you call fucking Bill or whoever? And call like, Larry. Yeah. See what's up. And, like like I said, grease the palms. Like, here, get yourself a nice lunch. Here's 100 bucks. Listen, we're going to we're gonna meet again. Right. You know, like, get yourself a nice dinner. Let's just take, you know, take a deep breath, not like start fuck you this and fuck you that, you know. But, I, you know, I'm also like I got problems with like stars, you know. I, I, yeah, I've yeah. had like bad. I've had bad experience with, with not all bad. Not, not, I, I was bagging on Owen Wilson. We'll he, do those later. We'll do some like positive celebrity. Yeah, some positive celebrity interactions. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I feel the security guard, like my boss always said, I will support you 100 percent if you do exactly what I told you to do and you do it nicely. Like he would come and talk to Spike Lee, you know. Like I, I had to, I had to shut down. Um, oh, what's his name, man? Uh, gone is uh, what's gone in sixty seconds. Who? Uh, uh, uh yeah, oh, the whiskey soaking in everybody. Oh, I never shit, goes. This wine. <laughs> yeah, right? It's uh, Tonight's show brought to you a, by a, Pure Paso from John Lord. He's a fucking nice meme. Paso he's Robles a, <laughs> uh, red blend. He's a meme, too. It's a... Um, no, face-off guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember all his bad movies. Vampire's Kiss right. guy. <laughs> National Treasure. What the fuck is his name? Right? That dude. That you dude. know who the fuck it is. Yeah, that dude. That little scrawny little crackhead, man. He he was trying to like barge his way through and like I didn't realize my boss had told him to kind of go this way and he went that way and then oh Nick Nick Cage. Uh, Nicholas, Nick Cage. Nicholas Cage. Much shorter than I thought. You know what it was they just said Jack Nicholas. <laughs> so like it was all like just the Nick felt wrong in the head. <laughs> I'm a big dummy, everybody. Just ask around. Oh, my God. This Bart so, Weed's killer. I'm just telling yeah. you. So I had to shut him down one night with his big bodyguard. He oh, was, so, guys, know, while everyone up. in major cities right now is dealing with, like, low low attendance at your facilities due to coronavirus, pro tip, instead of going to the store and buying your weed, go to the guys at the Bart Stop. People don't even know what Bart is. Go to the turf. Yeah, they don't. Even, it's you probably buy your weed from a guy on the street. I've been buying my weed from uh, the guys down by the uh, Powell Street Bart Station. They're out there twenty four seven. By the way, just what our listeners need to know. And this some is, of them, this is totally. They'll have like a little sign up, fifteen dollar <laughs> eighths on a little cardboard thing, <laughs> and just roll your own weed. Stop buying pre rolls, right? Stop dropping like ten bucks a joint. Like it's tough times right now, man. We're all suffering. I, I, I'm Southwest you, has cheap flights. <laughs> Take advantage. Get yourself some cheap street weed. 
It's fine. No one mixes drugs. You're not going to get like some like formaldehyde in your weed. I don't think they put fentanyl in weed yet. No, uh, there's no point. Uh, there's smoke, no point. Can you smoke fentanyl? Probably. It's like a I would imagine. I guess so. you could. What was the big thing back? PCP. Yeah. That was the that yeah. was the that was the scary. You want to buy some weed from like the wrong dude and get some PCP? Yeah. Uh, word up. PCP's not. That, it's not that terrible. And nobody was like no have never. No seen one's it ever adding spike. drugs yeah. to weed and selling it to you. Yeah, like people purposely pay extra for for the PCP. They're not going to give you free shit. Yeah, yeah. They're not yeah. like oh we'll spend some extra money on drugs. Going to fuck with this guy. Yeah, like no. Sell him. Sell him. That's, that's what they did to. Sell him uh, some super weed at a regular weed price. That's what they did to a dude in Friday, right? And they, they let him hit that shit. These are the chicken. Didn't coop. know you like to get wet, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's like what? Everyone's got that story though. If anyone's gonna do that, it's gonna be like a dude at a party. Yeah, I don't know. I he's gonna give you some shit. And be I, like, I, I, didn't know you like to smoke your weed laced with crack. Like what? I know, right? It's such and a, that's not even that good. It's, Have you done that before? No, God, put a little no. little cocaine on your weed. Oh, never! It's a fucking waste of money. I'm never, you that I would much. never do such a thing. There was a rapper. <laughs> I forget his name. He has lupus. All right, check this out. And he was saying like he doesn't. Uh, it was on DJ Vlad. It's like a YouTube guy who like interviews rappers. Okay. Um, he was interviewing this rapper. And the guy was like, "Oh yeah, man, I got lupus." He's like, "Oh, what do you do for it?" It's like, "I smoke weed laced with cocaine." It's like. Bro, you're just wasting cocaine. That's the dumbest idea ever. Although I did get a nice, uh, yeah. So yeah, I was on ecstasy. Oh, and I, and I packed a bowl and then, a little and, fizz. Yeah, it was back before it was fizz. It was real MDMA, and we packed a bowl. And I think my girlfriend at the time threw a big old pile of coke on top. I hit that. I, that shit put me back. It will. It sent me back in the rocking chair. I was like, whoa. Oh, here no, we go. Here's another pro tip. Is, yeah, but, yeah, if you're like do not drugs, from, kids. if you're not from a place. Stop asking bartenders how to get you coke. Yeah, and bouncers, please. Jesus Christ. You, you guys are the ones I send to the police station. I give you the police station address. <laughs> got, a, got a couple of videos. And one of the dudes from one of the videos, uh, he's like friends with uh, some of our regulars. He yeah. came in. I'm like, is that your homie? They're like, yeah. They're like, why? I was like, oh, I sent him to the police station one night because he wouldn't stop asking us for drugs. No. Yeah, I told him it was the after hours. I was like, bro, you know where 850 Brian is? He's like, yeah. I'm like, dude, I got a room full of drugs there. He was like, <laughs> that dude, was he was so happy he hopped in a taxi and fucking jetted out Woo! straight to the fucking police headquarters <laughs> that's a good move yeah that's a real good move that's my go-to when you just won't shut up and ask oh, me for drugs like, i gotta start fucking, doing that i'm not a drug it sounds like a club 850 bryant yeah right yeah go to 850 bryant multi i've sent multiple people there oh um, man i'll send them to the one in the tenderloin fucking asshole yes there you go yeah there it's like go. two blocks away like that'll, three that'll blocks away fucking teach him a lesson jesus shut you know up. what's funny about that is like the Tenderloin is such a fucking pit. Like, every block of it, except that, like, half block where the police station is. Right. It's the only part they actually respect. The fact there's a police station in the Tenderloin and the Tenderloin is still such a shithole is, is laughable. Is fucking unbelievable, man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, uh. Fucking shithole bums I taking was... shits in fucking to go boxes right in front Oof. of you. Man. <clears throat> No, literally, when you walk around, dude's just shaking pill bottles in yeah. your face. So I seen that dude get shot. I was actually, uh, I got interviewed for uh, the Sydney Bouncer podcast. Oh, yeah? Uh, shout out. Shout out. Really cool guy, man. It's the, the Sydney Bounce, uh, Bouncer podcast. It, it's, it's very much uh, bouncer uh, orientated. So you're out there, you're a bouncer. Give the guy a listen. He's down in uh, Australia by way of New Zealand. So he's oh, not, like, shit. He's a Kiwi. He's a Kiwi. Really cool guy. Trying to do out there, trying to do nice things for the I'll industry. just reiterate, fuck Australia. I know. I didn't I didn't get into it, but I Oh wait, know. no, we didn't that hasn't aired. That hasn't aired, no. I, I did uh you know you maybe insert that. <laughs> My can, Australia you can, rant. Feel free to go into your Australia rant. I'm not this is not, You know what here, you is, can talk about your homie and then I will Yeah, I it was a great it was a great podcast. He's a really cool guy. Um, you know, of course, I feel all very important when I'm be recording my podcast. I'll be an interview, and I like don't talk to me. Right. Like, hey, look at you! Guys, don't talk to me right now. But I was telling him I, that's where I seen that dude get shot. You know, down the Tenderloin. And, oh, but by, I did uh, a cool, yeah. I did, did a cool episode. It should air here in a week or two. Um, he said he'd come on here. We should have him on, and he's got some good stories. And like I said, okay, yeah, smart dude, yeah, trying to do to nice him. things for the industry. So he's an Aussie by way of New Zealand. Yeah, he's been there uh, four years, I think he said. So. Uh -huh. Uh, cool, now, cool, cool cat, man. The Sydney Bouncer. Check him out, everybody. That brings me to 
Australians. <laughs> now, we had a conversation in this unaired episode. That's right. The lost episode. The lost episode. <laughs> um, who's your least favorite country to deal with mine is well known but yours is well let's, mine's let's well do yours known first oh obviously irish people and why because they're they just give me nothing but grief all the way up to like a week ago. what do like, you mean uh you bastard and they just like f- latch onto me and fuck with me like all my co-workers they're fine with they want to fight me i'm like dude just i'm just fucking standing here man <laughs> like, what the fuck do you want from me stereotypes <laughs> true for a reason folks dude so yeah no, as I a could, jew i endorse stereotypes we are penny pinching assholes I, fair I, about I'm it i'm sure there's some nice smart irish people out there i have yet to meet them <laughs> but if you're out there please keep me a nice and smart and cool but man the ones i have come across are just nothing but just grief man now mine is australians yeah, that's I, I yeah. fucking hate Australians. <laughs> the acidic Jew, everybody. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> here, here we go. Bullet points. Look, we got bullet points. Koala bears, <laughs> not even real bears. Hey, those are cool little animals, man. Fuck koala. Hey, it's not a bear. It's a fucking marsupial. That's fine. As someone from California they're, now. They're fucking harmless, man. We're known for our bears. <laughs> yes. I've been to Guerneville. I've seen the bears glistening in the sun, playing volleyball. I'll show you a real goddamn California bear. No, here's my beef with New Zealanders. Uh, Australian Australians. Australians. Yes. <laughs> Australianers? Australianers. <laughs> they seem really, really nice. Okay. They seem nice up until... It's time to give me some fucking money, which is why I'm here. I'm not here to be your fucking friend. I'm uh, here to make money. Yeah, you're renting my friendship. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This shit ain't free. These smiles, these jokes, these conversations, the fake interest in wherever the fuck you're from and your bullshit, that's not free, motherfucker. <laughs> and Australians are really good at playing the game up until it's time to put money in my fucking hand. Dude. You get two bucks on 80. I'm sick of cheap. You bastards. get five on 50. Get the fuck out of here. <coughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sick of cheap people, man. I, I can't stand it. And not just that. There's this weird thing of like when they pay with a credit card, they do this thing like if it's their first time in the U.S., they'll, hand, they'll put the card on the table, right? Okay. Or like on the bar. And uh, you grab it and they freak the fuck out for a minute. Because mm. apparently in Australia, they bring the credit card machine to you and like you do your thing there, instead of me like swiping it and printing, no, 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 and they no. get real weird, man. We're gonna talk to the Sydney bouncer. And about they this. love saying shit like, "Well, in Melbourne, like, well, first of all, you're not in fucking Melbourne. Those are you I- fucking do like you're in San Francisco, <laughs> bitch. We got junkies and hookers outside. What's up? Some of my least favorite people are the people that the, the where I'm from people. The where I'm fromers. The where I'm and from. Australians right. are all where I'm fromers. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh man. yeah, because the whole fucking world's like the armpit of the fucking south and southern hemisphere. <laughs> you are all angry. right. What southern hemisphere? What the fuck do you have? You got you in South America. And, and like Thailand, those poor people, their whole country just. Oh burned yeah, you're down. the best of the They're, shittiest part of the hemisphere. Hey, their whole country just burned down, man. Come on. Yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> Teach you some fucking manners. <laughs> I once worked at a place that had like a lot of autograt right on groups. Okay. So if you come with like eight or more, you slap a auto like eighteen percent automatically. And he came in with like a group of like twelve, right? Okay. He's the only Aussie there. But he's the one paying the bill, and he wants to like fight with me about the fucking autograph. The whole group's like shh, sh- sh- like shushing him, and tell him to calm down. Like it's just what we do here. I didn't agree to pay no autograph. Like fuck you, bro. Dude, like just go with it. Shut the bro, fuck up. Yeah. Pay your bill. You're already here twenty minutes past close. You're lucky <laughs> you're still here. Get the fuck out and give me your money. Throw another shrimp on the Barbie, motherfucker. Bro, I get it. I get it. You're offended at hey. like Outback Steakhouse and Foster's. I bet Paul fucking Hogan's a nice guy, dude. Is that? Uh, I'll bet he's not. Is that? Uh, oh, you could very. And fuck Steve Irwin. Hey! <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. Come <laughs> at me, are, bitch. Lines Come are crossed, me, bitch. man. We're crossing some fucking Anybody lines. Anybody from now. Australia, call in, say what's up. Send crossing me an email. Some fucking lines. What's the, man. What's the fucking uh, phone number again? Oh, I don't, uh, I don't know. Let's see. It's uh, uh, 510-736-2520. Uh, yeah, that. 
five one zero seven three six twenty five twenty. What do you got, people? Yeah, what do you got? If you're from Australia, come at me. Uh, you can also uh, give me a fucking email if you want. Doorguypodcast at gmail.com. Talk even, some I, shit. I don't Run your fucking even, mouth. Doorguypodcast <laughs> at gmail.com. Defend yourself, <laughs> Australia. Defend yourself, you fucking. Have you ever even checked the email? I've never checked it once. <laughs> I check it like once a week. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Good, good. <laughs> We've Nothing been, quality so far. Be ashamed of yourself. We've obviously been slacking. I, oh, we did get a voicemail. I could play this. We've been mm. slacking hard. We, we got a like voicemail. It, people don't even know what it takes just to like survive in the Bay right now. It's it's hard. But let's see. This is a. Uh... What's this rumor about you retiring? You know, Palm Palm House is gonna burn like Rome. <laughs> well, you know what it says. It's Mondo. Uh, with a doorman in the city at the Emporium. Hey, man, good to hear from you always. Well, I didn't need to hear from you yet. Yeah, I don't like leaving messages. This is just awkward. <laughs> <laughs> but we are witty when, we, when we're when we trying to dealing with drunk people. But anyway, I'll uh, hear from you too, bro. Late. Should we call him back? Yeah, Mondo call. sounds a little buzzed, man. Yeah, when, when do we get this uh, email or this, this was, uh, like email voicemail? Oh wait? yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. I call him back. See if this works. I bet he's feeling great right now. Can't connect your call, Google Voice. I'm just saying, Australians are the worst white trash of the world. Damn, it's like a giant fucking trailer park full of Ooh. spiders and snakes and fucking jellyfish. Dude. Uh, so who should we call first? Nasty Nate. <laughs> I like that name. Yeah. Okay, call up Nasty Nate. <laughs> All right, we're gonna call a Nasty Nate Welch here. Very funny guy down in L.A. Nasty Nate, thank you for He's calling. He's a bouncer, coast coast AM. sound sound a uh, uh, stand up comedian. Uh, he has his own podcast as well. He's just got out there from New Orleans. Ooh, from Nowlands. Yeah, He's, maybe he's been to Snake and Jake's. We should ask him. Yeah. I'll let you lead. It's your dude. Yeah. When I found him on Instagram, he was doing these like bum, uh, like these bum patrols. He was like hired to like keep the bums out. <laughs> and nice. Was, like the bum hunter videos were hilarious. Whoa. Your call has been forwarded uh, to an automatic. Okay. No, no, no. Wait, we'll leave voicemail. We'll, yeah. Nine, eight, Stop five, it. I'll get to talk over that so I can't nine, hear the number. Zero, yeah, no, I can't uh, hear the number. One. Uh, there you go. At the tone. We'll Please see. record your he message. He might be doing stand up right when now. When you have finished uh, recording, you may that. hang yeah. up or press one for more options. Oh, what up, Nate? It's uh, the door guy from the door guy show. Uh, we want to get you on, man. We're just kind of cold calling everybody. We're talking celebrities, man. Uh, give us a call yeah. back or text give us at us this number. A call Is back. Your, does your number show up on his phone? It should. Okay. If not, maybe we'll call you back in a few minutes, man. We want to talk to you, bro. Nasty Nate, give us a call. All right. Fuck. Thank you for choosing BJ's Restaurant and Brew House in Wait. Colorado Springs. Let's see. To help us quickly route your call to the appropriate BJ's team member, yeah. please use the following options. Here we go. To place an order for takeout or curbside service, press 1. I kind of want to do to that. To place too. your name on our call ahead <laughs> list, available for parties of 1 to 6 guests, press oh, 2. Good God. For the address and driving directions to our restaurant, I'm press 3. One. For restaurant hours, Press four. Not doing that. To book a special event or large party reservation for seven or more guests, press five. For happy hour specials, press Jesus six. Jesus Christ. Para escuchar este mensaje en español, por favor, marque el número siete. Buenos noches. Review all options, press eight. Wow. To speak with the BJ team member, press zero. There we go. Zero. There we Come go. Come on, man. Put Ronnie. Got this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. It's taking way too long. <laughs> They're like, who the fuck is calling us? <laughs> no one calls. No attention. one calls that. <laughs> right? That's just <laughs> voicemail sucks, man. Can't get no people on the phone. Come on. Let's talk to the janitor if we have to. Oh, they got to be open still. Right? There's someone there. 
I feel like that. I feel like the BJ's warehouse lady knew Ronnie because you're like Ronnie. She's like, oh no, you're talking about the other BJ's, right? <laughs> yeah, she was like, <laughs> where the fuck is Coral Springs at? Got me. Got me. Uh, looks like that call ended. Uh, yeah, it's still up. Damn. Persistent. I'll give it two more rings. Let me do that. It'd be good for a sound check. I'm going to keep ringing for a minute because I'm just going to edit it anyway. Does this even matter or what? Thank you for choosing BJ's and Colorado Springs. Clips, how may I help you? Hi, is uh, Ronnie still there? Can I talk to Ronnie, please? Yeah, I'm sorry, who? Uh, Ronnie, the bartender. He is not in tonight. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Thank you. you. Hey, hold on. Uh, are you the bartender? I'm the manager. You're the manager. Man. Uh, so we're uh, this is the Door Guy Show. We're doing a podcast. And we're talking celebrity uh, interactions tonight. Do you guys ever have any celebrities that come through there? Um, we have a lot because it's BJ, so we always get people that are here for the Olympic stuff. Oh, and yeah. Olympic? Is, is, that, is Colorado Springs like an Olympic uh, hub? Are you serious? Have you never heard of the Olympic Training Center? <laughs> no, no, we're 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 uh, we're actually a Bay Area podcast. I'm serious. I'm a big dummy, man. <laughs> I'm one of Ronnie's roommates from like years ago. We figured we'd just like randomly give him a call, and I knew where he was working. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I was like, wait, dude. Like anyone who goes to the Olympics has to come to Colorado Springs. Okay, they, word. All there's, summer Olympic people, everything. Yeah. This I did not know. That's amazing. Here. All the athletes are there. So, do you have like any stories you could? I mean. Is it okay if we share this a uh, story from yours on the air, maybe? Uh, no, that one you have to go through corporate. Oh no! Oh, yeah, boo. no. What if we what bleep part of the out? Bay are you guys from? You guys are you guys out in Richmond or where are you guys at? We're out in San Francisco right now. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah we're in uh, Union Square. I grew Square. up out there. Um, well, no, I grew up in in Sacramento and then lived in the Bay Area for a while over in Concord and. All, that. Oh, nice. All right. Well, I'm actually from the 707, <laughs> <laughs> Vallejo. <laughs> we're East Bay, but yeah, we're we're out of San Francisco right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so do you have like Got all it. the pro snowboarders? They have to like posse up there. Is it just like a hesh fest or what, man? Like you must have some stories, dude. What if we do some kind of anonymous? Uh, we could do it anonymously. Yeah, we have to say your name or where we you're don't from. Wanna... We could chop all that right. out and just use your voice telling a story. Yeah, we we won't put you on I blast. Can't, man. Okay, uh, I appreciate that. No, we don't want. Sorry, we're not here I to wish. fuck up. We don't want to fuck up anybody's yeah. job. We don't blow anybody's spot. That's right. our thing. <laughs> yeah, no, but yeah, the beaches is a popular place for a lot of sports teams. I used to run the one in Sacramento, and it was right by where they used to play before they put the new arena. So the players. Oh come yeah, all the that's time. right. Uh, but they do it. They do it all the BJ's because we're like one of the places that stays open till late. Uh, in California, we're always open till 1 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays and midnight every other night. Damn, you guys open so till 1 a.m.? That a... is late. Word. Yeah, whenever there's... <laughs> Dude, awesome. you've got to go to BJ's restaurant. Well, I've been to... I'm actually a big... I'm a big Pazuki fan myself, man. Okay, then you know it. Yeah, so those are ours. So we always get a lot of people that uh, come out. No, no, like I got, I got a wife, two kids, whatever they want to eat. Like we, yeah. do no, the, meant, like, we do the one in Fairfield. Like, so like, yeah, yeah. That's I awesome. used to run the run in Vacaville. I've run the one in Vacaville. Or Vacaville, over by the not Fairfield, over there. right? To me, Vacaville yeah. and Fairfield are the like, same thing. Second, I call them the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Well, hey, listen. We, uh, oh, thanks for you. taking some time out, uh, and uh, you guys have a safe night out there. And tell Ronnie we you said do. what's yeah. up. Hey, listen, fuck with Ronnie. Like, will, make him, yeah, make him clean up some shit, and then tell him that's from us. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what was your name? Because he's gonna, he's gonna be like, no, who did? Robin it? Russ. Yeah, right, Ro- Robin Russ. Robin Russ. Yeah, yeah he's right. gonna freak out. He knows us from the right, ele- Elephant will. Bar. Tell him the Elephant Bar is still haunting him. <laughs> gotcha. Hey, gotcha. right on, dude. All right. All right, All right man. Have man. a good night. Take care. All right. Fucking pussy. Right, some fucking stories. homo. And first of all, nobody gives a shit about <laughs> Olympic athletes. He's like, you know, are you serious? I'm like, How dude. Lo- one time I saw son, I saw yeah. Sean White sucking a dick in yeah, the bathroom. Like, like, I don't care about the bobsled team doing coke in your bathroom. Come dude. on, man, give us some real. Give me shit some here. deets, bro. Annoying. Who are we uh, calling now? This is uh, who left us the voicemail earlier, and I'm guessing he's got a celebrity story for us. It's some he has some celebrity story. I'm guessing he's been in the industry a while. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Another local, another local legend. Let's see if he'll pick up. We actually got someone. Hello. Oh. Yeah, Mondo. Mondo. Yeah, what? What's up? Hey, dude, you're on the show, bro. What's happening? Do what? You're you're on the you're on the door guy show. It's a door guy show. You're on. Welcome to the show. Hey, hey, what's going on, Rush? <laughs> hey, dude, how, are you, how are you doing, man? No, I'm doing all right, man. What, are you working right now or what? No, man. I actually took the day out for once. Look at you enjoying life, man. That's sweet. Live life while oh, you can, man. Oh, I am trying. Hey, Live, hold laugh, on a and love. Uh, I'm yeah. driving right now. Let me put you on speaker, bro. Okay. Radio check, radio check. <laughs> Oh, what? Two, Am I on two. the radio? Did I just win tickets? Did I just win tickets to Aerosmith? <laughs> Got a couple of shows to the HempCon at Cow Palace for you. Oh, right on. All, all because of White Claw drinks. <laughs> dude, are, you, are you guys selling uh, White Claws at your place now? Oh, dude, that's one of the biggest sellers. No shit. Yeah, uh, shocking. I'm glad we're not doing it yet, but fuck, I get asked for it all the time. What's up with the White Claws? Uh, yeah, White Claw. That, that, it, it's like beer gentrified. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> all these breweries are, are, are going to be closing down because of White Claw. God damn it. What's up? You guys still busy at your spot, or are you feeling the, the uh, Corona crunch? You know what? We we, we thought yesterday we're, uh, we were going to hit, hit hard. But man, um, you know when you know how to run a damn door, you make it look busy outside, and then people want to come in. That's right, always. Oh, like, uh, otherwise, you know, we just tell people, "Hey, we got free sanitizer inside." Just fucking, just, just fucking uh, pour some whiskey on your head. You'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's good. We were uh, we were telling celebrity stories. You got any good celebrity stories? Celebrity, so yes. What you Fucking, got? Uh, uh, last, uh, what was it? Uh, last uh, Wednesday or Tuesday? Oh, yeah. shit. So, how recent? Week, uh, I, I, I did an early show. So, I'm walking, uh, passing by Nopa restaurant, and I got stuck. But Lars Ulrich from Metallica. Oh, no. Was, uh, dude, I, I'm. I, I don't, I, I don't get, I don't get, uh, I don't get what says, uh, Starstruck? That, uh, you don't get Starstruck? Get Starstruck. All right, homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> I almost, I almost killed, uh, I almost killed a homeless guy, sorry. <laughs> 20 points. <laughs> and and we'll, 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 we'll talk about that topic about San Francisco's homeless rate. Sure. But anyway, but. I was stuck on the window, pretty much. I was pretty much fogging the window up. So I was like, holy shit. I said, I've never been starstruck before, but seeing that man, I was like, god damn it. Why do you have to sell your tickets at 500 a piece? It's more like, oh, yeah. I love you. Yeah, I actually, I actually fogged the window and I wrote, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually heard, like, of all the dudes in Metallica, Lars is kind of the coolest to deal with in person. I don't know, man. Even though he was the douche yeah. over Napster. Yeah. I, I I've heard, like, like but... from, like, person to person, Lars is actually kind of cool. Okay. Yeah. I mean, James Hetfield I... is kind of a douche. Yeah, I, I don't know about that, but I know I know Lars is hella cool, but but just FYI, Nopa restaurant sucks dick. <laughs> I will not step Fuck foot Nopa. in that restaurant if I was starving to death. They they actually blame us for people coming in drunk, and they were trying to tell our investors, hey, can you tell your security not to let tell these tell tell all these your drunk people not to come in here. I'm like, I have no control over that. <laughs> right. I to, then don't open your yeah. fucking restaurant next to a bar, bro. Yeah, exactly. So I say, I say, you know how you solve that problem? Here's my card. How about you get a doorman? Yeah. Yeah. And all problems will cease. That's right. Those, there you the, go. Those, those cheap bastards won't want to spend 100 bucks a night. Like, Hey, you know who figured that shit yeah. out? Ryoku. <laughs> right? Exactly. Right? <laughs> you got an awesome sushi spot up the street. Fucking love that place. Great place. Great DJ. It's not a bar, but they it's got a door a, yeah. guy. And it's, a, it's a party. 
And it's a yeah. great spot. One of the best spots in San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if you know how to do it right, trust me, you, you will succeed. There's all nothing wrong done, with having a guy well, making sure your well, clients are cool well, enough to come in. Let me tell these restaurants I'm making. They can't. Uh, like, trust me. What, what you're paying security, you will always secure that money that you're making. Absolutely. Yeah. It, Man, it's, yeah. it's the and best it's, money you can spend. Money. It, 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 you know, horse feather was dealing with the same problem. What they do, they hire a doorman. There you go. Now the restaurant is still successful. They they still have the same clientele, and a lot of these business owners, they, they feel that having a doorman is it's like a sense of intimidation. No, no, it's, it can bring people no, in. Yeah, yeah, it's a sense of uh, it, it's a sense it, of security. Yeah, you, you can bring Safety. a, a yeah. nice, uh, calm vibe to everything. They know everything's going to be exactly. fine. Exactly. Especially if you have the right doorman that greets you. Yep. It's just, how you doing? It's checking IDs. You know, and, and, and they feel more welcome. So now they're coming in with a more positive attitude. That's right. Into they, their venue. We'll set, the, we'll set the whole vibe, man. My set, homeboy Troy, living out in Maui. Set the whole vibe, man. Yeah. That's what oh, he does, yeah, man. I, so that, that's basically the secret. You want someone to, to, to welcome, make them feel like they're 100%. And once they come in, they feel more pops. And this is a, this is a kind of secret I tell all my guards. Those simple, those simple compliments. Yes. Oh, happy birthday! Oh, I, I see your birthday pass. Happy belated. Hey, I love your shoes. Yeah. Dude, there you go. When you make someone feel like a million bucks, guess what? They're gonna spend more than what they anticipated. All right. Well, uh, and, you're you're driving right now, so we're gonna let you drive. But uh, All right. thanks for taking a moment out. We appreciate the voicemail, and uh, we appreciate you taking a moment out. And we're going to give you a ring on a future show, man. We'll talk some more. Oh, please do. I'm always here, man. And now that I'm going to be Good quasi, day. now that I'm quasi retired, I'm going to I'm going to come party at your spot, make you throw me out. Oh, you so you are got to retire. So yeah, Union Street's going to burn. Yeah, that yeah, it's going to be a fucking train wreck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to get front seat for that one. <laughs> yeah, that's not my problem anymore. <laughs> hey, right on, man. Yeah. Hey, well, you fucked a good car, man. Hey, you left like a champ. All right, brother. Thank you, man. All right. Thank you, Mondo. Sounds good, man. I'll, I'll be waiting for you at Emporium, brother. All right, dude. All right. Talk late. to you guys later. Right on. All right. Nice. Yeah. You know, that's a really talking, good point. Talking about, to us. Uh, yeah, it's funny how they don't want to spend that little bit of money, but it goes a long way, man. Like, you hire the right door person, you set the vibe, you keep the shit out. Right. Well, think yeah. about it. Like, like the sushi spot I mentioned, right? Sure. It's right in the heart of Union Square. It's a sushi joint underground. They got a DJ. Great, like, late 90s, early 2000s, like, hip-hop mix. But you know what? There's never anything going on. You know what's not there? Fucking drunk douchebags. Right? And they're open till 2 a.m. It's the best late-night sushi ever. Dude. If you're in San Francisco, you know, fuck, I'm going to say their name. Is that okay? I think so. You can say yeah. if you like it. Yeah, Ryoku. San Francisco on Taylor Street. Go there. Great sushi. They got a great little chubby Korean kid scratching records until fucking like 2 a.m. sometimes they have a famous DJ show up and do a guest oh, set. sometimes. And it's the best fucking... If you ever meet the owner, have you met the owner? I don't know if I have or not, maybe. I call her Miss Kim. I don't know her actual okay. name. Like, she's probably like mid-50s Chinese lady. Like, banging booty, actually. Like, she got a butt. Yeah, some real talk on the door guy like, show here. Like, stretchy pants, Louis Vuitton bag, Bam. Gucci sunglasses, Gucci, hair Gucci. in a beehive... She will straight do. She'll she'll sit there and do sake bombs with you. Uh, the, all the chefs will too. Oh they, yeah, absolutely. That. Yeah. So great spot. Plan a trip around it. Come out here, dude. Come out here. Go to Ryoku. I, I like. They're not sponsoring us, but I will endorse the yeah, shit out of that place. Them. So just real quick. The uh, oh, four four the nation code right. I think 44? so. Forty four. Because we're like be one. Because we invented the fucking telephone. Right. You're welcome, world. <laughs> yeah, that's right, assholes. <laughs> Sons of bitches. So this is this is a uh, doorman diaries, and these fucking assholes have ripped me off. Just constantly stealing your beams and putting their shit on it, fucking and then being like sharing's caring. I'm like, bro, you're not sharing. You're stealing. It's from a private fucking. So even if this doesn't go through, fuck doorman diaries. Let's see what they got to say for themselves. Yeah. Let's see if this works. It'd be awesome if it worked. 
The number or code you dialed ah. is incorrect. Please check the number or code and try again. How do you call? El there número o código que usted ha marcado es incorrecto. <laughs> is there no plus? I don't. I don't. There's no plus to like on the keypad, right? No, there's, there's not. no plus. Oh well, well we tried. So fuck doorman diaries. Anyway, yeah, man. fuck you guys. Fucking you guys are thieves. douchebags. I hate industry people that be stealing from industry motherfuckers. Steven dude. assholes. Getting hella views off my shit. Thousands. They probably Thousands. got 100,000 views off my shit. So this place, uh, they've always got a guy out front. Yeah. And a taco thing, I think, too. I don't know. Some yeah. of my coworkers might you want to take the lead? Too. You want to take the lead? Sure. Okay. It's good to have a little bit of a plan since we plan almost nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> they might not even have a phone. <laughs> Let my hair out tonight. There you go. The yeah, Jew fro fly. Sports bar. Hi, uh, how's your night so far? Hello. Hi, how was your night? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Can I speak to your uh, door guy, please? Uh, regarding. Well, okay. So this is the Door Guy podcast. I'm the bartender, and this is the Door Guy. And we interview door guys on the job. Oh. If he's Regarding? okay with it. Hello? Yes. You interview door guys on the job. Yes. That's that's what we do. For for what? For a podcast. For entertainment. Yeah. My friend here is a door guy. I'm a bartender. And it's like a kind of like a little industry podcast. We're actually recording like up the street from you on like Geary and uh, Mason, and we do it all anonymous, unlike my co-host here, oh, who's giving us GPS so location. Right now, yeah, but we don't put it on. You're not live, and we don't post it without your permission. Got it. I mean, I can ask him if he's interested, but yeah, give, he is did, working. I know, but you guys, are, are that, like like are, five minutes. Yeah, what, real quick. <laughs> And where is this again? Podcast for what? What it's, is it called? It's called The Door Guy Show. The Door Guy Show. There's a podcast guy on, on the phone, and they run a podcast called The Door Guys. And they interview door guys while they're at work for a live podcast. And they want to know if you're interested. Yeah. All right, hang on. Here's All right. Cool. Thank you so All much. All right. You take the lead still? Fucking weird. Hello? Hey, man. How are you doing tonight? I'm sorry, say again? I said, how are you, how are you tonight? I'm pretty good. Yourself? I'm good, man. Thank you so much for taking time out, man. Uh, this is the Door Guy Show. I am the Door Guy. I'm here with the bartender. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, how long you been? How long you been a Door Guy? Uh, off and on for about 10 years. Okay, so you like it then? Uh, it pays the bills. It's, uh, good money in it. Better than a cubicle? <laughs> uh, 100%, 100%. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why we do it. So we're talking celebrity stories tonight. Do you have any good celebrity stories? Uh, any good celebrity stories? Uh, probably nothing good. Just, uh, interesting. Okay, met, uh, we'll take that. Name? I met Tiny Zeus Lester, and he's a lot smaller than I thought he was going to be in person. Really? Yeah, he's like way smaller than you think he is. This How is small. They make him look huge on TV, but he's like, yeah, he's super average Wait, size. What is he like, six foot tall? No, he's like, he's way shorter. I mean, I'm I'm six one and a half. He's like five nine or something like that. Five nine. We're That's talking about barely a man. We're talking about Debo, right? Uh, yeah. No shit. Debo's my size. Yeah, it's like but just way five, more like, muscles. Shit. This is a fucking yeah. huge breakthrough, man. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they use like some kind of crazy TV magic on that dude. No shit. He's, He's like Tom Cruise. He's walking on boxes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it was super crazy. I was like, oh, they were like, oh, that's that's Zeus. I'm like, that's not Zeus. Zeus way too small. Wow. Comes up, you looking at him like, oh, yes. The cross eye and everything. This is that guy. Oh, shit. And he's fucking a miniature ass human being. Goddamn Hollywood, man. I'm going to say, if you're under 5'8, you're not even a man. <laughs> yeah, it was like really you had no, I'm 5'9. 
I'm the minimal height for a man to have respect. Hey, kid, if somebody tells you Santa Claus is a real, you're like, that's not Devo. Stop lying. God damn. I thought that dude was like 6'8". He had to be. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's making me question. I'm like, fucking how big is Ice Cube? Shit, <laughs> <was> really, right? <laughs> I in the movie. Hey, I've got a question for you. We have a running poll here. What's uh, worse, the men's bathroom or the women's bathroom? Women's by far. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, bingo. I like Hands this guy. Down. This guy knows what's up, man. He's been in the industry. Without hesitation, <laughs> yeah, he knew he the fired, answer. He fired that off with no problem, man. <laughs> it, it, it's women's by far. It, what's it, the worst shit you've seen in a bathroom? Yeah, what's the worst bathroom you've seen? The worst bathroom I've seen? Or the, uh, man, almost every bathroom in San Francisco, you go into the one. <laughs> There's very few women's right? bathrooms now. You think but, the streets uh, are bad. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, do it all in one second. Check the IDs are worse. I'm actually at the door right now. <laughs> cool, cool. What does that say? Oh, you have glasses on there. Gotcha. And cool. All right, great guys. Enjoy. All right. All right. Hello, I'm back. Hey, hey, thanks so much. I know you're working, so we'll do one last. What's the craziest thing you've seen while you're working? Uh huh. The, Why uh, did I got to catch that? What was that? Uh, the craziest thing you've seen while you were working. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys know exactly where I'm working at right now. Oh, I know exactly. But, yeah, we do. That's we're what, recording that's three we're, blocks that's up the, from Yeah, right that's now. why we're like, yeah, what's the craziest thing you've seen? <laughs> the craziest thing I've seen out here while I'm working? Shit. Uh, I know it's tough, it's t- it's tough to two, narrow it down. Actually, no, it was three. My first night I started here, before I even started at this, at this one location here, I get to work. There's three half-naked transgender people having like an all-out brawl. Like right next to the bar I'm going to on my first day. No, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> that is awesome, yeah. dude. Cinnamon, like, stop that. that. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I wasn't on the clock yet. I wasn't stopping shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know you're busy. We want to thank you so much for taking time out and being on the show. Uh, it, we, we're a door guy show on uh, uh, iTunes, and uh, thank you so much for your stories, bro. And be safe tonight. All right, man. No problem. You guys have a good night. All right, man. Yeah, you too, bro. All right. Bye. Love that guy. Love it. That dude. We're going to call that dude again, man. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I don't want to say his name. I don't think they did, but uh, did we say the name of the bar? I can't remember his name. I can't either. But I know where he works, though. That dude's it's legit. like three blocks away. I know. You keep saying that, man. Stop saying that. <laughs> no one knows where we are. People know where we are, man. No one knows shit. People know everything. Anyway, thank you out there. Find me. We talked to a door guy. We talked to a real door guy on the job, man. That's our new thing. Maybe that's our thing. I, I'm telling you, that's every time we call, somebody that, lets us talk to somebody. Good. But you got to get to do a new bar each time. That's the mm-hmm. problem, right? No, I think what we're gonna so we do, had a dude think, from up the street. I think we had Snake and Jakes. I, we had this guy. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start getting regulars that we call oh and check that, in because that dude is he's got good personality he's got great personality yeah. Yeah. so we should have him on the show again and we'll just go dip over there later and introduce ourselves like man what's up like we yeah want to talk to you let like, me get some uh some drugs first yeah okay <laughs> i'm a little sloppy right now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my co-host is hitting the wall the wine is soaking <laughs> in <laughs> uh, this pure paso from jay lord this california <laughs> Central Coast Blend is just we fucking need, killing me. We need our other co-host, man. Who, I've had who, hella dental work this week, so it's all... My <laughs> mouth feels weird. My face feels weird. <laughs> and two crowns and a filling. <laughs> you know right. what's crazy? The Novocaine doesn't work on me. They gotta like give me like triple. It's fucking like throwing a brick in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's used to all kinds of canes. Yeah, like, yeah. Novocaine know, ain't shit. Yeah, that's not enough, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do a little, uh, let's do an emotional outro. Let's okay. see this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait a second. Hold on, let's get this. Okay, let's do an emotional outro, man. My co-host is hitting the wall. He's had a box of wine by when now. When you've had too much wine. Yeah. What a show, everybody. What a ride. I want to thank everybody for uh, hanging out with us and... Um, Hopefully we can do this more often, man. So look, guys, this year you got to get your real ID. <laughs> so I recommend <laughs> you grow your hair out, you grow your beard out, you look really crazy. Then you get your ID p- t- picture taken, and you shave it all off. That's what I'm doing. I look like a Rasputin hermit right now. Yeah, we lost my co-host. We've lost him. 
The show is spiraling out of control. The mushrooms are kicking in. The mushrooms are kicking in. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, thank you for listening. We want to thank uh, all the people that talked to us. We won't go into all their names. They we call actually them got some fingers, people. But I never see them thing. Yeah, we got some people that talked to us. Or-